My name is Tommy Herfinan, I'm a veterinary consultant and I work with Netix and welcome to our series on being brilliant at the basics in backyard poultry. Today we're going to talk about worms. I work with Netix in the whole area of communication and education around animal health with both farmers and flock owners. It's something I'm very passionate about. I'm here in Kerry where I grew up and we've always had poultry. They're just not for their eggs they produce but also they're part of the family and more sustainable living. In practice, I was always the one to go to for the backyard poultry queries. It's become a real hobby and passion of mine. And you know, healthy birds mean happy owners. And one of the queries that continuously comes up around backyard poultry is that of worm control. So what worms affect backyard poultry? There's a number of them. There's four in particular. There's your common roundworm and intestinal worms, Ascardia, which can grow up to seven centimeters and infect the intestine. There's Capillaria, which is a small or hair worm which also affects the intestine. There's gape worm, which can affect the upper airway or trachea or windpipe of our birds. And you'll often see these birds stretching out their necks and can be spread by earthworm. There's also a cecal worm. So where do these worms actually come from? Well, they come from the environment of our birds and they come from wild birds spreading them. But you must remember every parasite has a life cycle, meaning when the eggs are ingested, they develop into adults and those adults produce more eggs. So it's a vicious cycle when worms get into our flocks. We must understand that to understand the risk around worms. What are the clinical signs? Well, the clinical signs can vary a lot with birds, but because it affects digestive function, we expect to see things like diarrhea, weight loss, maybe egg laying issues, along with other things. So we need to get good at spotting what's normal with our birds. We need to look at that feces and make sure it's okay. We want to make sure that our birds aren't losing weight. And we need to talk to our own vet or suitably qualified person around clinical symptoms we're experiencing in our flock and ask the question why it's occurring. We can monitor worms in our flocks. We can do this using fecal egg counts. So every adult worm produces an egg. We can look at egg counts in the feces of our backyard poultry to see what risk there is of adult worms in the flock. So it's a simple measurement. It can be done at home, but you need to talk to your own vet or SQP. It involves taking fresh samples from a number of our birds and submitting them quickly to our veterinary practice. Always wear gloves and do it early in the morning and get those samples submitted quickly. There's only one treatment or licensed product available to treat worms in our flocks, and that's flubendazole. We often use Flubenvet 1% to do this job. Because there's only one licensed product, we need to talk to our vet or SQP about what's best for our flock. My advice is to use it as much as necessary, but as little as possible. This means we slow down the development of resistance to this product in our flocks, and we use it more carefully and prudently. Netix have also got a number of products that help support or aid worm control in your flock. The use of Netix Herbal Gut Conditioner can help aid good gut health. A healthy gut is essential to health and welfare. Healthy birds are always in a better position when overcoming worm burdens and risk. With the environment playing a risk or a key role in transmission of eggs for worms, the use of Netix ground and bedding sanitizing powder can also help reduce the exposure to pathogens and worm eggs. Okay, so that's it for me in backyard poultry. Just know what's normal. If you know what's normal, then you're much better equipped to find and spot the abnormal. Uh, when it comes to worms, talk to your vet or SQP about treatment and protocols for your flock. Stay tuned to the website for more videos in the series of Being Brilliant at the Basics in Backyard Poultry. For now, my name is Tommy Heffernan. Stay safe and take care.